I don't know how I'm going to proceed on and go forward because my son was my life. Darren Tyner is Devron's father. He, Devron's mother, and other family and friends tell us that they want to make sure his memory lives on. He always walked with his head tall, always had manners. Yeah. You know, like, stay out the way, love his video games. And that was done. He was a great person. According to charging documents obtained by 11 News, on April 1st, police responded to the Renaissance Baltimore Harbor Place Hotel just before 9 at night. They found Devron on the ground outside of the hotel, and he later died at the hospital. So um, it's fortunate that he wasn't able to live a little longer than to become a, a father, graduate from high school. Those things are the most heart-wrenching part about it, but overall, I just love my son so much. I've been breaking down almost every day since. It just, it don't feel real. Not talking to him in the morning, not calling him, it just it don't feel real. Kyle Turner says he was Devron's best friend. He says they've known each other for 13 years and says the entire situation is just surreal. He was really my right hand, like everything I was doing, he was doing. As they find a way to move forward, they say Devron will never be forgotten. But I know for sure he want better for me, so that's what will make me be better. Hopefully justice is served in the end, all the way. And we're told the suspect in this case, a 19 year old from Pikesville, uh, turned himself into police yesterday. Police say that he and four others actually were seen on video taking part in a robbery before the shooting. He's due in court for a hearing next month. Reporting live at the Inner Harbor, Kyrie Stewart, WBAL TV 11 News.